you got Hello. more food. Any more food and I'm going to just walk off and go <laughs> eat something. All yeah. right. Okay, welcome back. If you're just tuning in, you're watching us, Zamil and Annie. And right now we're talking about the upcoming World Innovation Forum Kuala Lumpur, which is going to happen really soon with the theme called Inclusive Innovation for Transformation. That's right. So now let's, let's, our guests. let's welcome our guests. We've got on our extreme right, uh, Mohamed Azif Dato Mustafa, Chief Operating Officer. And of course, we've got next to uh, Azif is Dr. Mazlan Kame, CEO, both from Yayasan Innovasi Malaysia, YIM. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Azif, of course, uh, not a greenhorn to the screens. <laughs> I've been let's, here before. Yeah, let's start by asking uh, Dr. Mazlan. Uh, maybe you can share with us the objective of this uh, World Innovation Forum KL 2012 and uh, how important is it to, uh, to the nation? Very good morning and thank you for having us here. Pleasure, uh, pleasure. Before I move into the objective, uh, let me talk about uh, YIM a little bit. Sure. Yeah, yes, and University of Malaysia mm -hmm. sure. is a non-profit entity mm -hmm. uh, under the uh, Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation. Mm. Um, so we run uh, programs mm -hmm. uh, for MOSTI mm -hmm. and, and other programs as well. And our focus is mainly on uh, innovation. Um, so. Uh, for the past two years, we've been running Kuala Lumpur Innovation Forum mm -hmm. and run it very successfully. Mm -hmm. So uh, the third round, we, we thought that, you know, why don't we go global? Yeah. So Today, uh, Kuala Lumpur, tomorrow the world. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You know, because we have to bring the mindset of the nation, the people, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, uh, to think global. Um, <coughs> so so um, that is why uh, this year we have World Innovation uh, forum mm -hmm. in Kuala Lumpur, so WIFKL, mm -hmm. with the theme Inclusive Innovation for Transformation. Right. Um, this is uh, very appropriate, uh, thinking about you know, uh, connecting it to the transformation uh, agenda of right. our government. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to position the country uh, as one uh, of the uh, you know, uh, prominent country in the new economy, mm -hmm. right. the knowledge economy, where innovation is the driver. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure the um, response has been very overwhelming. That's uh -huh. why you wanted to make it, take it global, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, we're very happy. I'm very happy to mm -hmm. uh, share here that uh, we're expecting um, uh, around 10,000 people to visit our uh, exhibition. Mm -hmm. You know, we have exhibitions. We have our core events, consists mm -hmm. of four uh, major events, about uh, nine uh, satellite events. So about 3,000 wow. will be participating in our satellite events and about 1,200 uh, will be in the major uh, forum which we still brand as Kuala Lumpur Innovation Forum. Mm. So the entire event will take place uh, from the 3rd uh, till the 7th mm -hmm. while the uh, Kuala, Lumpur, Kuala Lumpur Cliff itself uh, yep. will be on the 5th and the 6th. So uh, response has been very, very encouraging indeed. Mm. Uh, we've passed our, uh, you know, target, uh, mm -hmm. but we still welcome people uh, to come and join and, and, and join us, yes. All right. As if maybe you can tell us a little bit. I mean, I'm looking at the uh, first dialogue session and you've got invent, innovate and commercialize. Right. You've got a list of people here who look like stellar speakers. So maybe yeah. a little bit of notice, uh, or sorry, note on uh, the speakers themselves. And what are the topics yeah. that that will be presented by them. Right, Annie. Uh, for Kuala Lumpur Innovation Forum itself, which is the main uh, forum in World Innovation Forum Kuala Lumpur, we have speakers from 11 countries mm -hmm. uh, and uh, all of them are esteemed and uh, experts in their own fields. Yeah. So the, the first dialogue session, of course, is is very prominent. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Tan Sri Lim Kok Wing himself mm -hmm. from Malaysia mm. uh, and we have various other uh, luminaries from uh, all over the world, really, mm -hmm. who are coming mm -hmm. to share their experiences on uh, innovation. But yeah. in particularly, when we talk about trans uh, transformative uh, or inclusive innovation, mm -hmm. Malaysia actually has uh, a lot of experience in this mm -hmm. because we've been doing a lot of effort in reaching out to the uh, public and reaching right. out to the uh, rural folk uh, in our programs. So the, a lot of interest uh, from globally is that what can they learn from what we are doing here in Malaysia? Mm. So with this um, stellar list of presenters and of course with the topics that is going to be presented throughout this uh, today event, uh, two days event, <clears throat> what do you hope to actually achieve and of course what kind of uh, impact can we expect from this event? Right. Uh, well, at this scale, you know, from uh, Kuala Lumpur Innovation Forum, which is uh, centered in Kuala Lumpur and mm -hmm. very Malaysia-centric, this year we're going global. 
uh, like uh, doctor was saying, we have uh, overwhelming response so far. Mm. I'm the guy checking on the attendances. So yeah. uh, like we yes, have check, check. up uh, till last night, it was 1,185 and our target was wow. 1,200 wow. uh, regis uh, registered delegates for mm -hmm. Kuala Lumpur Innovation Forum alone. Really? So we're almost there. Mm. Uh, like doctor said, we're still welcoming people uh, to the forum. Mm -hmm. um, you can include but, uh, two of us. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Very much welcome. You're most welcome. Yeah. Most welcome. So 1,187. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the impact we hope to create in this scale is actually uh, a national level change in, in the way we perceive ourselves. Mm. Because we've been talking about this, that Malaysians look at themselves as not so creative, not so innovative. Mm. Uh, but that's really not true because mm. what we've done and what we've seen throughout the nation is that we are people that are so creative and so innovative. That's but right. that mindset change has to happen. People have to understand that and realise that they are actually creative and innovative before we can raise the entire um, thinking of the that, whole that nation. Bar, uh, yeah, to break that bar. barrier in terms of mindset. It's interesting because um, the last time we had you in the studio, as if you were mentioning about how you were literally, your team goes into the rural areas of Malaysia right. uh, mm. and you develop, uh, you know, the innovations of, of the, the, the youngsters there, the younger generation in the rural areas. Yeah. Could you just uh, probably for the benefit of the viewers, give us a little insight into how's that going, uh, you know, thus far? Thank you, Annie. Uh, actually, the program is called Jejak Innovasi or mm -hmm. Innovation yeah. Walk. Mm -hmm. And we've gone to 15 locations, the whole country this year, uh -huh. uh, all 13 states plus wow. two federal territories. Uh, we have 397, I believe, Doc, till uh, last night, innovations wow. that we have uh, visited, catalogued, documented. Mm -hmm. So uh, that also has surpassed our target of 300 uh, this year. So we've been around the country and we've documented so many good stuff uh, among people and what we're doing now is we're bringing them here actually mm -hmm. to Kuala Lumpur uh, 77 innovators from across the country are coming in one of the satellite events is called Jejak Innovasi Market Open Day oh. where we will bring in the industry uh, researchers uh, people with money with mm -hmm. the funds uh, so that we could help these innovators that we find around the country develop their uh, inventions further I see fabulous I was just about to ask you whether you're bringing them in and you just answered the question that's, that's fantastic. right yeah Right, so uh, Doctor, maybe you can explain why is innovation very important, uh, especially to the, the industries that we have here, and uh, of course the benefits that we can reap from embracing these innovations uh, in their business activities. Well, in the new knowledge economy, uh, the only way you can survive is through innovation. Mm. Right. We've seen it in many, many countries, mm. you know, especially the Nordic countries. Mm. They may be a small country, you yeah. know, 1.8 million, but they are world power. Yes. Why? Because they can innovate, you know. So uh, innovation is the ability for you to exploit ideas. Coming up with ideas is easy. Mm -hmm. You know, you close your eyes and you can think about 10 ideas yeah. Yeah. E easily. And you can be creative with the ideas. Now, how what do you do with the ideas mm. you know what do you do how do you make the ideas into something yep. and that is innovation mm -hmm. so the ability to uh, to do that you know to to get a product to get a service to get a new ideas in fact is is crucial mm. uh, for us in order for for, for 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 Malaysia to to move to the next level mm. and uh, the government aspires to uh, to make Malaysia uh, you know, to make a mark in the world, yeah. and and with that we need the entire nation. Mm. We look mm -hmm. some of the example. You know, look you look at Finland, you look at uh, Estonia. Mm. I was told that Estonia is only 1.8 million, yeah. but they own Skype. You know, everyone knows <laughs> what Skype is. Yeah. Uh, we are a country of 28 million plus. Uh, so what is we, the we don't own Skype. <laughs> <laughs> we don't own Skype. Don't, you're, you're right. We you don't know. open So own you anything. want the masses yeah. actually to be talking about it, mm. to be aware about it, and uh, to be taking part of it. That is mm, why we right. call it inclusive. I see. You know, whether you're women, whether you're children, whether you're, uh, uh, you know, the elderly, the elderly, uh, any any age group. You have to take uh, uh, to be part of this. That's so right. we want to mainstream. Uh, innovation mm. in society. We mm. want to make it pervasive. Mm. So one way is to really go around like the, what we did with uh, what we've been doing with Jeja Innovasi. Yeah. You actually make noise in the villages, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. so that they are aware. Yeah. Hey, something good is going on in yeah. this village. You know, let's mm -hmm. take note. Let yeah. let get the the kids excited about right. what what is, what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, and this is actually a pinnacle mm. to whatever that we do, we've been doing this far, uh, is, is, is to to also uh, like grand finale to the science 
uh, the gerakan uh, science uh, movement mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, yeah, tahun gerakan uh, yeah. science and innovasi mm. the year uh, of science and innovation science. movement yes. right? okay. so this is where we want to uh, make the world aware that hey malaysia can be a platform yeah. Yep. whereby we can discuss, we can tabulate, we can do uh, new things with, with innovation in this All country. Right. But now, just to come back to where Azif was earlier, uh, you mentioned that when you bring these, uh, you know, the innovations from, from Jaja Innovasi, um, you're literally going to open it up to right. the people and mm. literally funders. Yes. Now, it's interesting you mentioned that word because is, is this again, um, what we're looking at, again, please correct me if I'm wrong, when we say innovation, for the people out there who are uh, very innovative, maybe what they lack is funds and yes. again people to discover their innovation right. so is that the biggest challenge uh, in, in your opinion Azif? well funding is one issue uh, for some innovators it's, it's a non-issue because some of them do not need or do not want mm. to go commercial right they mm. are doing some things for themselves and for their families mm -hmm. and they're very happy with that mm. uh, some of the things that we find are non commercialable mm -hmm. uh, commercialable you mm. know you can't really uh, do much with it but mm. they're, they're, it's good stuff mm. so what we do is we we celebrate uh, and we acknowledge that this creative thinking is happening in our villages, it's happening among our people and we uh, share it with the rest right. of the world. Right. Uh, one of the ways that they share it is through the exhibition. Mm -hmm. Like Dr. Mazlan was mentioning, if you've been to Kuala Lumpur Convention Centre, the whole of the ground floor, all five halls, yeah. so that's a massive amount of space, mm. will be filled with exhibitions. There'll be Bio Malaysia exhibition, Nano Malaysia, there'll mm. be the National Innovation and uh, Creativity exhibition and also our grassroots innovation um, section. Yep. So it's going to be a, a, a real uh, huge uh, uh, undertaking uh, and we're bringing many of these village entrepreneurs and village innovators there mm -hmm. to Kuala Lumpur, some of them for the first time mm -hmm. right. uh, to exhibit their, their yeah. goods. It, it, all five halls. All yep. five. It, all you're, five. you're looking at a whole day travel. <laughs> 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 you go through one exhibition <coughs> at every right. hall. It's exactly. like a full day travel. Yeah. You know? right. Park yourself up mm. there. That's it. Maybe you can highlight some of the, and also share with us some of the uh, innovations that, have you, that you have registered or they have registered with uh, mm. Yasan University of Malaysia? Well, there's, uh, uh, there's, there's a lot, actually. Yeah. Uh, there's, mm. Especially in the area of agriculture, okay. mm. food, food and right. craft. Are, are these the more uh, innovative or more, you know, uh, upcoming yeah. and inventive areas compared to the others? Agriculture, well, foods and craft? Because we don't really specify which area right. you want to go to. Okay. It's just this is what the people are involved in. Right. Ah, and okay. since this is very... Uh, you know, very still at infancy, you mm -hmm. know, okay. rather mm -hmm. than mature. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, so we're still discovering, mm -hmm. we're still uh, collecting them and try to classify them right. into which areas. So, right. mm. but uh, what we want is that uh, we want it to move to the next level. Sure. Yeah. So adding value to it, mm -hmm. you know, probably mm -hmm. find funding for it, okay. you know. Yeah. So uh, in, 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 in the uh, forum mm -hmm. we'll be talking about not just this but you know many many more uh, interesting topic mm -hmm. talk about regulation mm -hmm. policies mm -hmm. uh, you know industrial involvement right. and, and new areas trends mm -hmm. and a, a lot you mm -hmm. know so uh, it, you people will not just visit visiting the expos but they also can participate in yeah. in uh, exchanging ideas mm -hmm. yep. we we have one um, round table think tank whereby everybody will be in a round table so everybody can speak right oh, you know rather than just uh, invite just the speakers listen. Yeah. Uh, just listen so uh, it, could, it would be very interactive mm -hmm. uh, very interesting and really actually uh, bringing the trend to Malaysia mm -hmm. and also showcasing Malaysia to the world all right mm -hmm. now uh, from the previous times uh, do you see foreign funders actually coming in uh, to pick up ideas and and probably invest in, in the innovations that we have to offer uh, we have one satellite event called the Asia Grassroots Design Forum, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, our partner from an organization called Grandma in mm. Japan has actually gone to 10 Asia-Pacific countries, mm -hmm. uh, looked for interesting designed uh, grassroots innovation, something like we do in Jaja yeah. on a smaller scale. A mm -hmm. small team goes around 10 countries and they're bringing all of them here and they're also bringing funders with them from Japan. Ah. Uh, people from the Nippon Foundation, people from wow. other uh, funding organizations will come and look at what is available out there 
in the whole of Asia uh, and what's available here in Malaysia and make the decisions on funding. And of course, we have people locally like Cradle, uh, people from MOF and other uh, funding organizations will also be in uh, World Innovation Forum, Kuala Lumpur. Right. So it's going to happen uh, on the 5th and 6th, right, uh, next week? That's Kuala Lumpur yeah. Innovation Forum. The entire event starts on the 3rd okay. uh, with a UNESCO symposium. People right. from 17 countries are coming to discuss uh -huh. uh, development of innovation in developing nations. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, on the 5th is the official uh, ceremony, ceremony, opening ceremony yeah. with uh, Yama Bohoma, Deputy Prime Minister. Uh, and fourth and uh, fifth and sixth is Kuala Lumpur Innovation Forum. On the seventh, uh, we have a lot of uh, very targeted workshops right. uh, in education, mm. uh, in, in a whole sphere yeah. of, of, of So things. the public can actually make their way on the third itself, right? On Saturday? Uh, on the to fifth, go to the sixth and seventh. Fifth, oh, sixth, uh, and seventh. For the right. exhibition. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, now, where to from here, uh, yeah. Doctor? Maybe you can uh, give us an insight. You know, when you have this huge forum coming in, five big rooms, people take a day <laughs> to go through it. You've got innovations coming from up north, down south, and all over the world. What's next? Funders coming in. So what's next for, for Malaysia, innovation? Well, this we have reached at a, uh, a point whereby uh, we can make a difference with mm -hmm. all these ideas. The forum will provide us with an insight mm -hmm. into how to move forward. Uh, they will be providing us with uh, a charter, yeah. sort of, you know, uh, Try, uh, it's not obligatory for us to follow, but right. it's something for us to ponder mm -hmm. yeah. and perhaps uh, make sure that the policies that we drive, you know, uh, activities that we planned mm -hmm. uh, will move uh, mm -hmm. according to what the experts are, are talking about, mm -hmm. uh, you know, globally. Right. So I think uh, this is an exciting time. Uh, this is a time for us to learn and pick it up and move to the next level. And I, I really hope that, you know, uh, this will be uh, taken by not just Mosti, mm -hmm. because innovation cut across all, right. uh, all spheres. All spheres, so mm -hmm. it has to be of concern to everybody. That's right. Yep. As you mentioned, it, it cuts across all ages as well, isn't right. it? I mean, even exactly. the youngest of the youngest minds can come up with something absolutely brilliant. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and the oldest and goldest mind can come <laughs> up with an absolutely something brilliant. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, for more information, you can log on to their website, www.wifkl.com. Yeah. So, wifkl.com, uh, which stands for World Innovation Forum Kuala mm -hmm. Lumpur. You can also search on Facebook, so search for World Innovation Forum Kuala right, Lumpur. There's a very on active Facebook. group going on yep, on Facebook. Very, very interactive. A very quick question before we let you off. There is an awards night coming up. Could you just give yes. us a quick mm. idea into what this awards night is? Right. Uh, there's actually 10 categories of awards. We're, uh -huh. we're uh, grouping all of the innovation awards nationally uh, to be uh, given on that night, mm -hmm. right. uh, culminating in the uh, Anugrah Inovasi Negara, yep. which is the biggest. Uh, yeah, Yasin Inovasi Malaysia is, is giving out four awards mm -hmm. oh. uh, for grassroots uh, innovation, mm -hmm. uh, the open category women and youth, and we yep. also have a Kids Invent Family Award. Mm. Oh. Well, Kids Invent is a children's program that uh, yep. we've talked about that goes around the country as well. We've trained 5,900 uh, primary school students around oh. the country uh, in how to think creatively and all that right. and I just like to slip in a word uh, because this wouldn't have happened uh, without our sponsors yeah. uh, we have the UM group mm -hmm. uh, agency Innovasi Malaysia mm -hmm. uh, and also Bank Rakyat who's been mm -hmm. a, a big platinum That's sponsor right. of ours for the last few years uh, and also a small company called Dream Edge uh -huh. really good technology that they're providing for us all right so Wonderful. you've got a whole lot of list of people here are kept KPT MOF yes. UNESCO cybersecurity Frost and Sullivan grandma yep. kids uh, Kakisani Lyle mm -hmm. Center, My Harapan, and of course, Social Enterprise. Yeah, there you right. go. I think it's a uh, big kudos to all the sponsors for coming forward to do this, isn't yep. it? Thank you. Um, all and right, so there you go. Makes, That's so right. Yes. And Thank we you wish you much. all the best for the Thank upcoming you. forum. Uh, way to go. I think Thank you, very much. you and I need to sit and figure out whether we can innovate something. All right. <laughs> 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 right. Well, we hope you enjoyed that and uh, do log on to wifkl.com yeah. and search them on Facebook for, uh, for World Innovation Forum Kuala That's Lumpur. Right. Thank uh, you Dr. Mazlan and uh, Azif, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's been a pleasure. Yes. Right, Malaysia, don't go away. We do have a whole lot of other stuff coming. Uh, one of which is, of course, Money as Taboo with Irfan much later. See you in a bit right after this. Don't go away.